I start the process, I guess, for designing 1984 um, was because it was a devised piece and we didn't have a script. I guess the first point of call was the, uh, was the novel. First off is uh, costing it. So if I'm lucky, I will get designs. If I'm not, I will have to read the script and try and assess how much that's going to cost, how many costumes are involved, and what is made, what is hired, what is bought, and the cost implications on each of those. What was brilliant was that Orwell was really descriptive about the world and uh, what people wore as well. So as a starting point, it was really useful to have all that information, and it was very clearly um, uh, described as to what they would be wearing. Sometimes costumes will have to get cut because there isn't that. They just haven't got the facilities to, to produce the volume of costumes for the price. So we have to get that right before we start. Then once we've got the financial thing in place, I need to um, estimate how many people I need to work on the show. So we have a tailor and two cutters within the department and we can go for assistance. On top of that, I'll need to decide whether I need extra people. I'm going to break it up into blocks because the costumes seem to come in as blocks of things. So there's blocks of blue uni uniforms, the blue overalls, there's blocks of black ones, there's made ones, there's uh, the Nazi youth look with the shorts. We're not used to this much volume. We've got 17 in total. We've got six children. They are playing numerous parts. Um, I think we're around the 130 costume mark. Uh, and we've got multiples of, so you might have the leading man that needs one costume on paper, but he actually needs four because he needs to be tortured in it, he needs a clean pair, he needs a general basic pair. So you've got four to start with. The fitting will take around half an hour to 45 minutes. And if you think there's 120 odd costumes on 17 people, well, it's going to take hours to do fittings. And the design is back on Friday, so we need to start. On this show, there are a lot of boiler suits, just boiler suits, which are all brand new, and I've had to age them over different stages, nearly 30 of them, and we've taken them from brand new through to uh, prisoner ones. And what we do is by the time we wash them a lot, they start looking worn, but just to make them just read on stage, we paint in, we highlight it, so it just reads a little bit under the theatre lights. I think my job during Tech Week is probably to stay out of the way of wardrobe. Because <laughs> the first couple of days while we're teching and there's chaos in the hall and there's people doing quick changes and because of the nature of the being in the round it, it does get chaotic. So for the first couple of days I'll stay well clear while uh, Nikki organises her team of people. Um, but I'll always be taking notes about uh, various costumes and alterations or things that need breaking down or things that aren't quite clear storytelling wise that we need to change and then I'll start feeding them in as the week gets uh, calmer, I guess, and when they get more time on their hands. Excellent.